Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning everybody, bit of an overcast day today. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm um, wiring in, so this switch here, when I'm done, will operate the water pump. Okay, now we've got a 10 amp fuse on these two wires, as you can see they're well and truly overrated for the job which is what I always do and I'm putting some jumpers across I'm going to put another switch in uh, that these switching wires for the heaters going on they're just switching wires. okay uh, basically this is what it looks like you can see how I've used the double there And this is just uh, temporary, of course, till I get covers made. But I need to be able to test everything, you see, um, before I put the covers on. Um, next, I've got to wire in the 12 uh, volt, the, the big wires, that, uh, into the 30 amp NOAC breaker, and then wire in the plug. And then I'll come back and hopefully turn it all on and it'll work. Okay, once I activate everything. Okay, so right now, if you can see that red light's on. It's flashing, I don't know what... Well, it's not actually flashing in uh, real life, but on the um, camera, I can see it's flashing. All right, but it's not in real life, it's not flashing. Now that's on the AC, and you can see I've got the water pump turned on. And basically I just want to quickly heat the tank up, because that'll add ex even more pressure to the water lines. And I'm just um, listening for pump ticks. Alright, I'm not concerned about leaks here, but there is none anyway. And I'll open the kitchen up in a minute and uh, check for leaks in there. Okay, so we got the pot goes across underneath the trailer in a double layered where you've got the pipe and then I've got insulation and then I've got real heavy duty uh, external 32 millimeter PVP pipe that just runs across. Oh, where are we? There, runs across the bottom of the trailer so this pump here uh, just is for the cold water and the other pump on the other side is for the hot water you can see the cold water line which is the copper line the old line coming in going up through the filter and into the sink then you can see the hot water line, it's just velcroed to this carpet, which is really good, that'll never shift. Goes up on a swivel T-piece. All right, we got my darlings holding the um, camera for you. We'll just let this run for a second. It's been on what, 15 minutes? Yeah. So it's been on for 15 minutes now. Yeah, can I, well, I can already see, can you see steam coming off there, love? So, unfortunately, I don't have my little ducky anymore that used to tell me the temperature because last time my two-year-old grandson come down, he took a liking to it, so I said, we'll have it. So first we'll tap this one in. And then get it out. Keep it in very, a bit longer. Very hard to see. It's very yeah, hot. It's it's hot. Okay, trust me, it's hot. All right, this one's already peaked at its maximum. So 
don't put a baby in there. So don't put a baby in this little pot because you'll burn it. I don't think it's going to be hot enough for this one yet. Now the inside is Celsius, the outside is Fahrenheit. So the current temperature of this is, right now, is 50 Celsius or just over 100 Fahrenheit. There you go, on that marker there. Okay? Alright, shut him off, love. 